Hello! Welcome back, or welcome. For those of you that watched my last video where I did the tiny ceramics kit with my daughter Lillian, we had extra clay, we didn't feel like making any more pottery, so we, uh, we made like random creatures, and I made a snail, and he broke and fell apart. I tried to super glue him back together, something about that clay wouldn't let it stick, and I tried to hot glue him back together, something about that clay wouldn't work with hot glue either. And then one of you wrote that you were fully invested in the snail's journey and you named him Charles. I have to remake him now. Charles must live. 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 I got out my nerdy crafter kit because I have clay and clay tools in there. So let's get Charles made. All right, get out the clay from the kit. It's not a lovely noise. So we'll go ahead and dump everything out I've got in here which is a block of clay, some loose balls of clay, and a couple popsicle sticks. I don't know how those got in there. Let's get you out of the way. We'll take the loose balls of clay and we'll mush mush them together to form a long cylinder of clay. <laughs> After that, we're going to cut off small chunks at a time. I uh, learned my lesson from the last time when I tried to break off huge chunks at a time. It's simply impossible. All right, so I gather those bits and I'm gonna roll them all up into a ball and not a complete like circle ball, like a, I, a ball that's like kind of flattish on, on the side. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm rolling it into a shell. That's what it's called, a shell. And then I'm going to take my cylinder and I'm gonna kind of make like the tail of the snail. Is that what that's called in the snails? Do they have tails? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to stick that to the shell. And after that, I wanted to create a like oval size thing for like the head. And then I used my Sculpey glue to glue all those parts together. And then I'm going to wrap a thin little snaky I made with the clay where the head and the snail neck connect. And I'm gonna smooth that out. Next, I'm gonna get out the arm, armature, wi armature wire and cut two small pieces of it. And I'm going to roll out some clay snakies and I'm gonna put that around the armature wire and this is gonna be the snail's eye sticks. I need to learn some snail anatomy. And then I'm going to get out some of the epoxy sculpt that dries on its own without be having to be baked. And I'm gonna make little tiny bits. I'm gonna shove that into the two holes I made in the snail's head. That way the snail's uh, eye sticks are real sturdy in there and they don't just keep falling out. I'm also going to cover the armature wire with the Sculpey glue stuff. I don't know if that helps it stick, but that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna take some clay and I'm gonna make two small circles. And those are gonna be his eyeballs. Stick them on top of the wire and blend that in to the rest of the eye pieces. And then I stuck it in and I realized these eyeball things or sticks are too ridiculously long. I thought it looked goofy. So I went ahead and cut off some of the clay and made the wire shorter. And then I thought that looked much better. Once I got that all situated, I went ahead and blended his eye sticks into his head. And then after that, I went ahead and I took the smallest kind of ball end of my tool and I went ahead and carved like a little swirl on either side of his shell. And I don't think they came out super even on both sides, but I still liked it, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm trying to glue the back of his head against the shell because it's just how I wanted it. But as you can see here in the sped up footage, it just kept slowly separating. So I don't think I've explained this to you guys yet, but... The name Charles just, I immediately pictured like Charles to be fancy, like a fancy British man. That's not a good accent, but you know, he goes around town and has tea and hoo 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 hoo. And you know, because he's a fancy British man, he needs fancy British man clothes. So I decided to start with a collar. He's going to have like a collared fancy button up on. And apparently, I don't know what a collared shirt is supposed to look like. So I had to Google collared shirts just to get an idea, and I finally figured it out. Now to move on to the rest of the accessories.
school. Got everything all glued together. Tried to glue the back of his head onto his shell. So let's see if that works in the oven. <laughs> Nothing broke in the oven. The only thing that happened is his head and his shell did separate. And there's some like glue residue. But that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So everything I put on him, a little moustache, a monocle, which I am so surprised did not break in the oven. A top hat with a little fleur on it, bow tie, buttons on his shirt. And what am I trying to pick off his shell? Stop it. Stop it. <clears throat> anyway, now time for painting. So painting, yes, we got to get out all the things. Palette, paints. Ooh, dirt, my dirty little water cup. He's my friend. Paintbrushes. So. I decided I wanted him to be a very pale Englishman. Paler! Paler! But now that he's all finished, in the end, I was like, he's not that pale. Yeah, I could have I could have done more. Looking back on this, I definitely should have done a base coat because some of these colors did take a decent amount of layers to build up, like the skin tone. So after the skin, I decided to paint um, his moustache like a, you know, medium lightish brown. And it was at this point that I was like, oh, I forgot paper towel. So I was like, Lillian, what? Bring me a paper towel for my dirty paintbrushes, please. And she decided to bring me an old happy birthday napkin she dug out of the pantry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> anyway. So now to paint his t-shirt, I wanted to get him a nice crisp white shirt and I decided to paint his top hat white to match. And then of course I painted his balls white. And then I decided to give him golden buttons. I thought it made him more fancy and a red bow tie and I decided to do the flower on his top hat red and the ribbon around his top hat gold to kind of, you know, tie everything together. He has to have a matching outfit. He's very fancy after all. <laughs> so for the shell, I decided to paint it black, you know, give that illusion of, you know, he's like he's wearing a tuxedo. Then after that, I decided to paint his eyeballs blue and then very delicately paint his monocle black. And then I realized that the blue was too dark with the monocle around it, so I made his eyeballs in a lighter blue color. I thought it looked much better. A couple of little black dots later for the middle of the eyeballs, and I decided to mix up like a pinky red color. I wanted to give the flower and other things dimension. And then this happened. <gasps> Just an amazing mother trucker. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. After that, the mistakes kept coming. <laughs> I decided to get another paint palette that wasn't very clean and put my varnish in it. That made black specks in my varnish. So then I had to pour it in another little spot and start keep varnishing it and it kept falling over and it kept making lumps and it was just... <laughs> I kept having to paint like mistakes over and then varnish over that and it just... He's very lumpily varnished, but here he is. I think he came out pretty cute. I really like Sir Charles, even though I had some difficulties there at the end of it. I hope you guys love him. I hope he's all you dreamed he could be. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.